Hello YouTube, um, this is a video of the Sarahan in particular, but, um, atheists in general, and agnostics or anyone else, um, that doubts the things of the Bible, um, I don't know, I'd highly doubt this will be very convincing for those who don't want to believe, but, um, uh, my hope is that some people will get what I'm trying to say and and see that you know the events that are transpiring are re already recorded in the Bible and in fact been recorded there for about two thousand years you know which in and of itself would be a miracle because there's no way a man could do something like that only God could do something like that but um I had uh had this correspondence with Sarhan with you Sarhan and I in, in it I started out with talking about the atheist box um I'm going to try to detail what that is I tried to explain that uh you know, I basically said it about perceptions, you know, world views and whatnot. Um, I'm going to give you a quote. It's not in the Bible, but it's very pertinent. And, um, and I'll tell you who said the quote in a minute. The quote goes like this. It says, um, the atheist is the type of person who puts a bag over his head, runs outside and says, there is no sun. This person said that about atheism. In other words, you, you blindly reject what is obvious to you. Um, interesting thing is, it wasn't Jesus who said it. It wasn't Paul the Apostle or Peter or Moses or anyone recorded in the Bible. Um, it was actually spoken, uttered by a man who many Christians believe to be the Antichrist. This guy um, goes by the name the Lord Maitreya. He ain't my Lord. <laughs> Far from it. Um, as he's promoted by this guy Benjamin Krem. And, uh, you know, this guy claims to be the Christ. He claims to be all things all people I mean if you're a Buddhist he claims to be Maitreya Buddha if you're a Hindu he claims to be Krishna if you're a Jew he claims to be the Messiah if you're a Muslim he claims to be the Imam Mahdi um, you know he basically says that he is the one for all religions now the interesting thing about this is I've done a lot of research on this in like the last year and a half um, and uh, this is this thing has been going on has been talked about for hundreds of years um, the first person I believe it was to actually talk about this guy Maitreya was uh, uh, Madame Boblowski in the 1800s followed by um, Alice Bailey in the early 1900s um, up to and through 1939 and then the guy that's currently promoting him, like I said, is Benjamin Krem, who he's been pretty much doing it since 1977. As a matter of fact, um, probably lost on most people. Certainly a lot of older Christians will remember this. Um, Benjamin Krem put out uh, full-page ads in all the major newspapers of the world saying the Christ is coming and the Christ is now here. Of course, he wasn't talking about Jesus of Nazareth. He was talking about this Maitreya guy. Um, so, why should you care? Well, the reason why is you, if you really dig into this stuff, if you really do some research like I have, you'll discover that... Okay, first let me explain... Um, Okay, Benjamin Krem runs an organization he calls Share International. It started out as the Terra Center. Um, they have preferred status with the UN. This this 
publishing company. Basically, the whole magazine, they push it to promote a magazine and they do stuff like, you know, they got also an affiliate with an organization called Share and Save the World. Um, which all sounds well and good, you know, it's all about helping people and stuff, supposedly, but, you know, in reality, all it's about is promoting this guy, Maitreya. And um, Benjamin Krim does speaking engagements at the UN. He has political and religious world leaders write articles in his magazine, which is only totally devoted in promoting this guy, Maitreya. The Dalai Lama's written articles in there. Kofi Annan. The old secretary, you know, general secretary of the UN has written articles in there. Prince Charles has written articles in there. Mikhail Gorbachev, who this other guy, Will, uh, Wayne Peterson, claims in, in a book he wrote called Extraordinary Times, Extraordinary Beings, which is all about his experience with Maitreya, he says that Mikhail Gorbachev is a follower of this Maitreya. Um, and just recently, um, I favorited some videos, uh, I believe they're from the Alex Jones channel, and I don't know whether you believe or even follow or even interested in this stuff with uh, Alex Jones and, you know, truthers and all that stuff, but it's really interesting because one, one of the Christians has really been revealing this stuff about this guy, Maitreya, is this guy named Chris Pinto. And um, I, it's like a four-part video series with him and this guy. He's, it's not Alex Jones, it's this other guy. They're talking. Um, and they're talking about Bohemian Grove. And uh, Bohemian Grove, I mean, it's been around for I don't know how long, but, you know, Nixon talked about Bohemian Grove in his Nixon tapes. And, uh, you know, well, Alex Jones went in there, you know, supposedly snuck in there and took fi video footage of them doing this weird like satanic looking ritual and um anyhow uh chris pinto and this guy are talking in the art in the videos i got linked and um they you know he's saying about how you know they have statue of Maitreya there um there's this uh uh, guy, uh, Dr. Stan Johnson, he's a Christian, and he's got a video series, or, well, it's, there's a guy named End Time Delusion 1 on YouTube who does videos of his audio tracks here on YouTube, um, which I'll add to the sidebar, and, uh, he's got, um, he's got a number of series on this Maitreya guy basically identifying him as the Antichrist and like I mean this stuff one in particular he talks about the Department of Peace bill and he goes into it saying look I wasn't looking to tie Maitreya into this but it's unmistakable I mean he's tied into it you know and this is the interesting thing now obviously it's like he's a phantom there's only like one known appearance of this guy which is in Nairobi Kenya in 1988 they got pictures of him you can go look out at the link to um to the sidebar you know I'm not promoting this guy by the way I mean I'm warning you about him because and like I said in the beginning um this is about you know like I said about the Bible you know, I mean, it, it's not by coincidence that this guy is tied into the UN. You know, um, you know, I mean, you got people on the nightly news talking about the New World Order. I mean, when the G20 conference settled, they were talking about the New World Order then. And the, I think it was uh, whoever um, the Prime Minister of England is, he was talking about it. Um, when Barack Obama was elected, Henry Kissinger was running around. Everyone knew would listen to him saying, Barack Obama's the one to bring about the New World Order. Barack Obama's the one to bring about the New World Order. You know? Um, and this is all prophesied in the Bible. The New World Order is in the book of Revelation. You know? And if Maitreya is the Antichrist, if he is the man that they're going to 
pick to or is going to lead the new world order then uh, he'll be the beast of Revelation chapter 13 and like I said this is all prophesied 2,000 years ago